talking about grabbing the Galaxy S24 Ultra? Hold up. Today we're diving into what you can snag instead and why it's totally worth considering. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is killing it with popularity and demand, with the pre-orders smashing records left and right. But hey, that doesn't mean it's the only option out there. Sure, the Galaxy S24 Ultra packs some feature you won't find in any other phone. Like check out its screen with this wicked new anti-glare tech, standing out bit time among rivals. We're talking deep, rich blacks from any angle and lightning. And how about juggling two it seems at once? Pretty sweet, right? Video stabilization's gotten so good you can wave your hand around and still get a smooth shot. And the list of cool upgrades goes on. But what else is out there that can match up the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra without feeling like you're missing out? Let's dive in. The real rival to the Galaxy S24 Ultra this year isn't the iPhone 15 Pro Max, like you might think. iPhones are still unbeatable in sales and hype. But surprise! Samsung's biggest competition might just be its own creation, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Why not? The design is pretty much the same, and some might even dig the screen on the S23 Ultra more, especially if you're not into the flat look that popped up on the S24 Ultra. For the color lovers, the S23 Ultra might be more up your alley. The new Galaxy S24 Ultra screen colors aren't as punchy as before, and tweaking the settings doesn't do much. Titanium body? You'll probably slap on a case anyway and won't even feel what it's made of. Performance-wise, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is still keen. That chips are powerhouse. New AI tricks? First off, Samsung said some of these AI features will hit the S23 Ultra with updates. Secondly, it's too early to say if AI in the new Samsung is a game-changer that'll make your ditch other options. The Galaxy S23 Ultra's got a 10x optical zoom that the S24 Ultra lacks. And I'm leaning towards optical zoom being better than digital. Sure, it's trickier to handle while shooting, and the stabilization isn't as slick as in the S24 Ultra, but if you nail the shot, you'll get crisper, more detailed photos. Plus, the photo processing algorithms in the S24 Ultra are messing up color right now, so you might have to wait for a camera update if there is even one coming. The Galaxy S23 Ultra, a year after release, with its reduced price, is shaping up to be one of the top Android flagship of 2024. Pixel 8 Pro Almost cheaper than the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the Pixel 8 Pro is a total game-changer, offering a bunch of awesome features and specs that rival Samsung flagship. Let's start with the screen. The Pixel 8 Pro's display is so on point and bright. Super sharp images, spot-on screen calibration, videos and photos on the Pixel 8 Pro look so good. It makes you wonder if Samsung really is the top dog in mobile displays. And hey, Pixel 8 Pro screen isn't just Samsung display work. Shout out to be boy too. AI smarts? We all know Google's leading the AI race. And Samsung can quit catch up. Just Google doing a solid for its partners, sharing the love for a prize. Auto translate during calls, voice recording transcriptions, pixel headed ages ago, circle to search, that cool new search feature on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, Google Pixels got it too. Pixel 8 Pro's camera capabilities are off the charts. For less cash, you often get better photos and videos. People buy Pixel mostly for the cameras. The only weak spot, the Tensor G3 processor made by Samsung based on Exynos. But recent updates have made it play nice with third-party apps and it's always been a beast with system apps. iPhone 15 Pro Max Priced at launch just like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is a serious threat to Samsung. This year, the Galaxy S24 Ultra copied a bunch from the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And even some die-hard Samsung fans are thinking, maybe it's time to give the iPhone the trendsetter of the market, a shot. So what did Samsung swipe from the iPhone 15 Pro this year? Grab your pants, folks. First up, the revamped always-on display. It's working just like the iPhones now. Takes your screen image and dims it down. After the iPhone rocked a 5x zoom, Samsung ditched its 10x and went for the same. It's like Samsung thinks it's easier to copy than to explain why staying the same is better 
than what the competition's got. Sounds crazy, but it's true. Mark my words. Samsung might bring back the 10x zoom in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Titanium body? If the iPhone's got it, the new Galaxy's gotta have it too. But Samsung can't match Apple's ecosystem integration. A perfect example. I was at the Galaxy S24 Ultra presentation, trying to connect to Wi-Fi my iPhone. And the colleague who'd already logged in on his iPhone just hit a button and shared the password with me. That's how an ecosystem should work. Simple, clear, and convenient. And Apple's got tons of these little things that make a big difference. iOS system animation are still smoother than One UI. Many third-party apps run better on the iPhone. And the iPhone 15 Pro Max outperformed the Galaxy S24 Ultra in many multimedia tasks like editing and saving a 4K video. The iPhone with its A70 Pro chip does it five times faster. Plus, video recording on the iPhone 15 Pro Max is still superior, both in auto mode and with third-party apps. Exclusive apps like Blackmagic Cam on the iPhone have no worthy Android counterpart yet. There are so many reasons to choose iPhone 15 Pro Max over the Galaxy S24 Ultra. If you're spending over $1,000 on a phone, you likely look at other products from the same company in the future. In this aspect, the iPhone offers a much higher quality selection, and all its production in the ecosystem work way more smoothly and conveniently than Samsung's. This year, Samsung dropped the stellar Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus. They've revamped the design, making this some of the slickest smartphones out there. If you're not really vibing the need for an S Pen or a zoom lens on your camera, then peeping the Galaxy S24 Ultra probably doesn't make much sense. Plus, when deciding between the Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus, you always get to pick the size that suits you best. Not everyone's down with the size of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a beast of a phone and not always the most convenient. In the new Galaxy S24 lineup, Samsung seriously stepped up their game with the new Exynos 24000 processor. And even though it's not quite on par with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, it still holds its own against any flagship out there. It also supports ray tracing in games, boasts a powerhouse GPU, and in some tests this processor even outperforms Qualcomm's beast. In a way, the Galaxy S24 saw even more updates this year than the Galaxy S24 Ultra. That's all, guys! Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, and don't miss a new video. Bye!